Hello babes and welcome to a new video here on my channel. As you guys can see, I have new hair and I am obsessed with it. If you guys haven't seen that video, I will have it linked up here. And for those of you that loved the purple, it didn't really look great in real life. So now I changed it to blue and I think it looks so much better. But I kept the green, so. <laughs> in this video, I am going to try out a bunch of new products. Like for example, we're gonna try out the new NYX Professional Makeup um, Total Control Pro Drop Foundation. I have a bunch of stuff from Lime Crime that I bought myself. I am also, which is pretty much the main point of this video, I'm going to show you guys, talk about, and apply the products that I've done, I've created together with other brands that never launched. I'm just gonna go ahead and apply the primer, the uh, hydrating primer from e.l.f. I just have to tell you guys that I am a bit scared about showing you guys these products. I'm actually going to just double check on my contracts to see if it's even like allowed to show you guys or if I'm gonna get sued. But it's been like four years and uh, I just feel like they've had their time to get back to me if they wanted to do something. We're gonna talk about that more when we get to those steps. Now we are going to try out the new uh, NYX Professional Makeup Total Control Pro Drop Foundation. This is, if you don't know, this is a old product that NYX Professional Makeup already has, but they made a pro version, and I guess the old one is going to be discontinued. And I loved that foundation. I haven't used it a lot <laughs> because I am more into the very light coverage at the moment. Then they have also launched the hue shifters, so a light one and a dark one if you need to change up your regular shade. They also have a warm and a cool one, which is so weird because this is warm and this is cool, but I feel like both are warm. I don't know, <laughs> just that's... I'm going to apply just a drop of the warm one into the light one because I feel like the light one is a bit cool, more cool tone than I am. Let's do two drops. Okay, I probably made way too much product, to be honest. I don't have a new concealer, so I'm just gonna go in with the um, Can't Stop, Won't Stop concealer from NYX Professional Makeup and blend out. Then while we're at it, we have the illuminators also from NYX Professional Makeup. This is warm and this is cool, but cool is the lighter one. So I'm gonna go in with cool. Oh, this was chunky. Oh no, it's lifting. I'm not sure if you're supposed to put this directly in the foundation. I'm sure you can do both, but I'm not like blinded by that. I'm gonna go in with the Lip Cheek and Stain Sunshine Orange. I feel like that gave me more glow <laughs> than the highlighter. I'm always a bit scared about these like super watery uh, blushes and stuff. Because I feel like they're hard to blend out, but this... Oh, I love it. Now for a new... Whoops! <laughs> powder. Pixi H2O Skin Whale Powder. You guys know I only use my Nabla one, but I'm a bit sick of just using the same powder all the time. And I've heard so many great things about this. Impressed. This is the Pixi in collaboration with Promise. What is the name? This is the Shapeshifter palette in Sculpture. I used this the first time yesterday, so it's not completely unused, but I'm just gonna go in with this shade that I haven't used to contour just a little bit. Now, let's see what do we have here in the Lime Chrome one. I'm gonna go in with the Venus Immortals. 
I've been wanting to try that for years. Then I also used throwing it out there if you want to see me dye my hair caramel <laughs> a brown then i have this i just couldn't resist not getting it and then i also got the valentine shade this is the one that i had like a year ago during or after i had green hair i had this one and it covered the entire green hair so therefore i got it again because it's such an amazing red this is like a little bit of an unboxing because i got so many products that i haven't ordered because apparently if you bought over a certain amount you got like a free gift bundle something like that and with that i got the body light this is some sort of body glitter palette velveteen and i bought the wicked velveteen because that was my absolute favorite liquid lipstick before. Something that I'm super excited about that I'm probably going to use today is the Disco Cherry Lip Gloss. I really wanted to try out their new eyeliners that just launched. We got a freckle pen that... <clears throat> my voice. A freckle pen that I'm gonna use right now. I got the Black Unicorn Diamond Crusher. This is like a topper. You can use it on the lips, on the eyes, whatever. The Volumizing Vegan Mascara in green. And then the last product that I also got for free is the Gold Road Lid Light. Wow, wow, wow. I'm just gonna go ahead and do a little bit of dots. All right, the base is done. So I'm just gonna go in with a little bit of all nighter to set it. I have already glued down my brows with the brow freeze from Anastasia Build Blue Hills and I thought now that I have blue hair, why not go in with blue eyebrows? <laughs> so with that, I'm gonna go ahead and use my baby War Paint in collaboration with Cosmify. This is launched and I'm so happy to see that so many of you guys have gotten it. It makes me so happy. And I'm just like, every time I look at it, I like want to cry because it is just so good. I can't even tell you guys how long I waited to buy a product like this that have all of the colors that I've ever wanted. A highlighter shade, a contoury crease color shade, a black and all of the colors of the rainbow that I love to use. So what I'm gonna go in with is Bad Decision mostly and then I might go in with Authentic a little bit just to darken it a little bit. Oh, here comes the sun. This palette is so cool just because it is so different. I'm gonna go in with Cameo just in my crease. Okay, it's just like a hint of product, but nice to have in the crease. And then I'm gonna go in with Ash, so a very concrete y gray. That is so cool! Even though it's just gray, but it's just so different to have a gray in an eyeshadow palette. And underneath here, then I'm gonna go in with this white shimmery shade and I'm just gonna go ahead and highlight my brow bone and inner corner just a little bit. Should I just do a blue or should I just do a black? I really like just the gray, so I'm just gonna leave it like that and now go in with the eyeliner. This is a type of eyeliner that I don't really love the look of. I like more like a pen kind of eyeliner, but I really wanted to give them a go as I usually love everything from Lime Prime. So let's just go ahead and use this to make my everyday eyeliner. Okay, I feel like we must try this out. I always do these sorts of things and then I'm like, why did I do that? I ruin everything, but I don't know. Does it look that bad? Now for the first products that I was supposed to launch with a brand. I was going to launch three lashes together with Rouge and Rogue. If you guys have followed me for a while, like a few years ago, the only lashes that I used was Rouge and Rogue and I always told you guys in my videos that Rouge and Rogue is the only product, the only lash brand that I use and that was true. I didn't use 
anything else than these. So they contacted me and they wanted to make three lashes together and I was pumped, but they just stopped contacting me and uh, that's pretty much it. And no shade to Rouge and Rogue because Rouge and Rogue is a great brand. To honor the lashes that I had never got to launch because they are so freaking cute. So it's a real shame. There we have them. You guys can at least appreciate them in this video because they are so cute. Now I'm gonna go in with the uh, Lime Crime Astronomical Volumizing Vegan Mascara in green. This is going to look so cool with my roots, hopefully. I'm going to apply this only at my bottom lashes. I'm going to use this so much. I am obsessed with this. I used to have this so much before like a colorful mascara on my bottom lashes. I think it looks so freaking cool I just would have wished that it was a little bit more uh, Like neon green like this one. We have gotten two lips and uh, here we go another product that I Was not allowed to launch. <laughs> Let me show you guys the first sample. I was about to launch the most amazing orange lipstick. Then it was these two shades. Just look at these colors. And here is the final, or not the final product. <laughs> oh my god, I just realized I have even more. I just found the uh, component that we first was supposed to launch. We were planning on getting a, or doing a regular lipstick, but then we decided to do a liquid lipstick instead, together with the brand Makeup Store. I still really, really love the brand, uh, so no shade again. And also, just so you guys know, it's not supposed to look like this. It was supposed to look really cute, but it never happened. So. So here is the product. And this is also the thinnest liquid lipstick I've ever tried. It doesn't dry down completely, which I absolutely loved. It was such a nice liquid lipstick. I know a lot of people don't love liquid lipsticks, but I am 100% sure that you would love this one. So that sucked that that never launched. Oh, I really want to try out the Wet Cherry Gloss from Lime Crime. This is in Disco Cherry. I think that this lip gloss would have looked better with another color underneath. Everything looks good and I would actually say that I loved, or loved is a strong word, but I liked <laughs> all of the products that I used today. As you guys know, I've been trying out the Swedish word of the day kind of thing and you guys really seem to like it. So the Swedish word of today is Läppstift. Läppstift is lipstick. This is the Läppstift that I never got to launch. If you guys want to be featured like these people in the next video, be sure to comment down below. Just type anything with Läppstift. Uh, and you can also just comment whatever really, but just have lipstick in <laughs> that comment. And also be sure to uh, comment in the same comment if you want me to give you guys a shout out on like Instagram or YouTube or TikTok or wherever. All right, so that is it for me. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to subscribe if you guys haven't already and check out my vlogging channel if you guys want to see more of my life. I'm actually vlogging today because I have a dog over. Well, now I have two dogs. It will probably already be up when you guys see this. Have a great day, you guys, and uh, we will see each other in the next video. Bye, guys.